Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Well, today I feel led to have us read part of Psalm 27. Uh, I think I'm sensitive to anyone today who might uh, feel like they're in a battle or being attacked. Um, and we all face uh, enemies. We face enemies that sometimes um, reveal themselves in circumstances. Sometimes it's people uh, that are in opposition. Sometimes it's just the enemy himself, actually, that we're doing battle against spiritually. Um, but I want to read, starting in verse 3, David said this, Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. So let's stop there for just a second. Sometimes I think the Psalms especially can just seem like, seem like such beautiful prose, the pictures and the metaphors. And But David, you know, who had been shepherd boy, became warrior king, and he had experienced this very thing, being surrounded in battle. And you may feel something like that today in your life, as I, as I mentioned earlier. But how is it? I mean, let's think about this. Picture yourself surrounded by an army. Um, then that army attacks you. And David says, even though I'm surrounded, I'm being attacked, I will not be afraid. I'll remain confident. How do you do that? Well, he goes on. It says, for he, God, will conceal me. He'll conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. So the key here is the sanctuary of the Lord, it, which is representative of the presence of the Lord. Now in the New Testament, the New Testament, the New Covenant, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the sanctuary. The Lord lives in us. His presence is within us. And so David is calling for in the midst of any attack that we would face, that we would run deeper into the presence of God in our life, in worship, in thanksgiving, in prayer. In fact, he goes on, he says, you know, this thing about, I'll be able to head, hold my head high, God has placed me on this high rock. At, and then he says this, at his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord. So here's, what I feel like the Lord's saying to us today, South Lake family, that for any of us who feel like we're in a battle, we're being attacked, it's like we're in this war and we feel surrounded at times and we don't see how there's gonna be deliverance, we don't see how God's at work, we trust he is, but we don't see it. The Bible says the key is to go deeper into the presence of God. And specifically, it's through praise. He says to trust that the Lord in the midst of this battle is inviting me into this place that will elevate me above all of my enemies. He will deliver me in that way and protect me. But that the key is, is to press into his presence through praise. What does he say? I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord. To take moments today in the midst of whatever battle you face to just stop and praise God, not for what's happening, but in the midst of what's happening. And I think when you do that, it, it helps you to be sensitive to that God really is in control and that God is fighting this fight, that you can stand still and see the salvation, the deliverance of God. I think it's for that reason that he says, uh, down in verse 13, he says, Yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while, I, while I'm here in the land of the living. The, in the battle, the place of praise is the land of the living. As you praise God, you will see the revelation of his goodness in your life. Let me pray. Lord, so today we do. We take our stand in you. And we take our stand in praise of you. Lord, help us this day, no matter what sort of attack or battle that we face. It may come in some sort of business context. It may come in a family context. It may come just something within our, ourselves, Lord, in our own personal life. But that, Lord, may we run deeper into you. And may we take a stand in praise and worship of you, even very expressively. Give us moments of expressive praise today. And we thank you that your promises 
that you will reveal your goodness in our life. Thank you, Lord. We commit the day to you. Pray you provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family. That's our prayer again today, in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day. Be praying for you again today. I look forward to talking to you in the morning. God bless.